Have you ever gone to the supermarket and you bought yourself some grapes and you got home and you realized, oh my God, I can never eat this many. What am I gonna do? Well, kind of happened to me. I bought some, some of these weird looking grapes a few days ago. They're called moon drops and I really like them. They're seedless, but um, I brought them home and discovered that Marty doesn't really like those and he eats more fruit than I do. So um, he would eat them. He told me, oh, I'll eat them, no problem. But I don't want him to eat, you know, something that he's not really enjoying. So I ate as much as I wanted and I am left with, after I took them off the vine, more than four cups. This holds four cups uh, to that line right there. So this is like, I don't know, four and a half, it's not five, about four and a half cups, I think, of grapes that I've lost interest in. So I don't wanna waste them. You know me, I never wanna waste food. So I'm gonna make some jam, some grape jam. I don't particularly like grape jelly. Um, it's okay, but it's kind of boring to me. So I'm going to make some delicious grape jam, and this is an easy recipe. So I thought I gotta share this with Anna. So all you need for this is your grapes, some sugar, and some lemon juice. Easy peasy. I'm going to chop these up in my um, food processor, and um, I'll show you what I do next. All done. So here's my four plus cups, maybe four and a half cups of pureed grapes. And it's not really pureed, I, I should, let me clarify. I put it in my food processor and just pulsed it a few times so it's kind of coarsely chopped. Um, anyway, like that. So I'm gonna add to that a half cup of sugar and this is, uh, you know, not exact. I'm gonna put a half, but I'm kinda estimating. I think it'll work. There's a half cup, which is also eight tablespoons. Now, I had bought, let me talk a minute. I had bought this, because I just wanted some, some um, jam or something. And honestly, I thought those grapes were blueberries. I thought I was getting blueberry jam, which I really like. Um, and it's grape and it's jelly and it's boring. I'm going to throw this in because I don't want to eat this. It's boring and it's not going to change anything with, uh, with my jam here. So I'm just going to put this in. Not a necessary ingredient. This is just something extra. Sorry, smokers. All right, there's that. And uh, I need some lemon juice. I'm not sure how much is in here. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know three-ish tablespoons. Let's see what I've got. One, two. Oh, that's almost, yeah, let's call it three. That's pretty close. So three tablespoons of lemon juice. And let's go on over to the stove. Okay. So I'm gonna stir that up, turn the heat to high, and bring it to a boil. So actually I'm gonna bring it to a boil on medium high heat. I'm gonna stir it often, keep the lid off. You know I like to cook with the lid on, but this time we're gonna keep the lid off because I want the water to evaporate. I want it to Thicken. I'm going to cook it for 15 or 20 minutes, and if all goes well, it should be thick 
and syrupy, like a syrup. And then you turn it off and as it cools, it thickens even more. Um, now, when I made this before, I still had some juice in there, you know, and I thought, oh, all the juice needs to be gone. No, it's okay. We're gonna see what it looks like. I overcooked it and it was too thick last time. So hopefully this is gonna go better. So the jam has started to boil a little bit. See there? And uh, I'm gonna stir it often, not continuously though, but let me tell you, I just tasted it like this. Like this, I just, you know. Yum. It is tasty, but I had an idea. Last year, when I was in Paris, um, we bought some little jars of jams that were really amazing. They were fruits with herbs and spices, just a little bit, and they were so amazing. So I'm thinking, oh, I got a good rolling boil right now, so I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. So I tasted it, and thought about those jams, and I decided I'm gonna put a little bit of tarragon in it. Tarragon has an interesting flavor, and you can get a good idea of how things are gonna taste by smelling. So, I smelled this, mm. and it's a little bit like a licorice. I don't know if it's in the anise family. Um, I'm gonna put about a quarter teaspoonful of this in my jam while it's cooking. But before I do, before I put it in, I don't want big pieces of this. So I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle and I'm gonna just kinda crunch it up. Not much, I don't want this to overpower but this will add a little heightened flavor. So that's about a quarter teaspoonful, I'd say. Maybe a little, little more, that's okay. Hopefully I'm not ruining it. So I'm just gonna, you know, break it up. The tarragon leaves dried like that are pretty large as herbs go but they're really easy to, uh, to break up, as you can see. So let's go put it in and see how it, work, how it works. If I ruin it, you won't see this video. I need to stir. I'm just gonna put that in. It's very subtle in the background, but it's good. So I'm gonna keep stirring and cooking and uh, I'll show you when it gets right. It's been 15 minutes and it's looking pretty thick. I'm gonna turn it off. It could take up to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna stop it here. It's really hard to see if the juice is now like syrup because there's all those lumps in there, but I think it is. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set that aside and let it cool before I uh, put it in a jar. I'm going to, I think it'll fit in this jar. It's just a jar I have. Um, if I were cooking a bunch of jars, I would need to sterilize the jars and do a canning process that seals lids and so I can stick it in the cupboard. I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator. It will last five or six weeks in the refrigerator and hopefully I'll eat it all before then. Maybe Marty will even eat some, especially since I added tarragon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cool. 
if I if it cools down and I can see it is too thick I'm just gonna add a little water heat it back up and let it cool again if it's too thin I'll heat it back up and cook it a little bit more I should have done this the last time when I made it too thick anyway that's how I'm gonna deal with that and uh, hopefully it's going to be delicious I'll tell you the jam is cooled quite a bit. It's slightly warm still, but it's cool enough that I can see what it what it looks like. And there it is. Uh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. There. Mm -hmm. It's so dark, it's hard to see. So I'm going to put it in this jar. Now you can see it. You can, if you, if you want to strain it to get the um, the fruit out you can although I think that would be kind of hard at this point I like having bits of fruit I can see a little bit of um, juice down there but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just fine so I'm gonna fill up this jar <laughs> 